Today we're diving into one of the most exciting changes Apple has made to the iPad in years. If you've ever wondered when Apple would finally unlock the full potential of iPad hardware, that time might finally be here. With the arrival of iPadOS 19, Apple is finally stepping up and giving users what they've been asking for. Serious software upgrades that make the iPad feel less like a big iPhone and more like the powerful productivity device it was always meant to be. Let's get into all the major changes coming with iPadOS 19 and how this update could completely transform the way we use the iPad. The iPad has always been powerful but held back let's be honest, iPads haven't exactly lacked horsepower. Apple has equipped its tablets with some of the most advanced processors we've ever seen. We're talking M1, M2, M3, and now even M4 chips inside the iPad Pro lineup. The iPad Air is no slouch either, perfect for heavy multitasking, and even the iPad Mini now features the A17 Pro chip, the same chip used in iPhones. Plus, the 11th generation base iPad with the A16 chip offers incredible value. So the problem was never performance. The real issue? Software.iPadOS always felt like a larger version of iOS. Usable, yes, but nowhere near the level of a desktop experience. But that's finally about to change with iPadOS 19. What makes iPadOS 19 different? With iPadOS 19, Apple is finally turning the page. This update isn't just about small tweaks. It's shaping up to be the biggest leap forward for the iPad experience in years. Whether you're a student, a creator, or a professional, this update could change everything about how you use your tablet. Let's break down the four biggest upgrades coming to iPadOS 19. Professional apps are finally coming one of the most exciting. Parts of iPadOS 19 is its focus on pro-level applications. For too long, users have been asking why apps like Final Cut, Logic Pro, or Xcode aren't fully available on iPads, especially when the hardware is more than capable. With iPadOS 19, that may finally change. Apple is expected to expand support for desktop class software, enabling iPads to run more powerful professional apps. We're talking about real versions of creative tools, design software, development platforms, and more, not the simplified mobile versions. Imagine running full-featured design tools like Adobe Illustrator, 3D modeling apps, or even coding environments. With full Git integration, all on an iPad. With universal app development between macOS and iPadOS becoming stronger, this dream is finally becoming reality. This update could transform the iPad into a legitimate workstation, perfect for creators, designers, coders, and more. Multitasking gets a total redesign. Let's talk about something that frustrates almost every iPad power user. Multitasking. Current options like split view and slide over are functional but clunky. New users find them confusing and even experienced. Users find the system lacking. iPad OS 19 is expected to introduce a totally reworked multitasking experience. Think freeform windows, resizable apps, and more control over how you arrange your workspace, very similar to what we see on Mac OS. You may be able to drag, resize, and stack windows just like you would on a desktop computer. This gives users a more natural and flexible way to work, especially if you're using a Magic Keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad. This improvement will be a huge step forward for users who want to get real work done on their iPads, whether it's schoolwork, editing videos, managing spreadsheets, or writing code. Stage Manager gets the upgrade. It deserves Remember Stage Manager. It was supposed to revolutionize multitasking when it launched, but most users found it confusing or limited. It felt half-baked and it didn't live up to the hype. Well, iPad OS. 19 is expected to bring us what many are calling Stage Manager 2.0. This updated version will likely fix a lot of the issues users had with the original. We're talking about smoother animations, more intuitive app grouping, better window snapping, and improved external display support. In other words, Apple is finally getting serious about creating a real desktop style environment on the iPad power. Users who dock their iPads with external monitors will especially benefit. You'll be able to group apps together, switch between projects with a click, and enjoy a much more seamless experience. 
If Stage Manager 2.0 lives up to expectations, it could become the centerpiece of the iPad workflow. True Desktop Mode is Coming one of the most interesting rumored features in iPad OS 19 is something users have been dreaming about for years. A dedicated desktop mode. This mode could automatically activate when you connect a keyboard and trackpad, transforming your iPad into something that feels a lot more like a Mac. You'd see a more advanced dock, a persistent top menu bar, and context-sensitive tools that adapt based on the app you're using. This doesn't mean iPads will run Mac OS, but you'll get the look and feel of a desktop operating system, all while still benefiting from the iPad's portability and touch features. For users who love the iPad form factor but wish for more serious tools, this is the perfect middle. Ground. Bonus. Better external display. Support. Another big win in iPad OS 19 is expected to be improved external display support. Instead of mirroring your iPad screen with black bars, you'll be able to use a second screen as a fully functional workspace, complete with draggable windows and dedicated controls. This makes the iPad a much more viable desktop alternative, especially when paired with Apple's studio display or third-party monitors. When is iPad OS 19 coming out? Apple is likely to officially reveal iPad OS 19 at WWDC 2025, which is expected to be held on June 9th, 2025. As usual, the developer beta will be available the same day. However, unless you're a developer or enjoy dealing with bugs, it's better to wait. The first public beta should arrive in late June, with more stable versions, like public beta 2 or 3, expected in mid to late July. The final version of iPad OS 19 will likely launch in September 2025, alongside the next iPhone lineup. Final Thoughts? Is this the iPad's Mac moment? With iPad OS 19, it finally feels like Apple is ready to unlock the full potential of the iPad. We're no longer dealing with a tablet that's almost a laptop. Instead, the iPad is becoming a true productivity powerhouse, ready for professionals, creators, students, and anyone in between. From better multitasking to real pro apps and a full desktop mode, this update could mark a turning point in the iPad's history. If you've been holding back from using an iPad as your main device, iPadOS 19 might just convince you to make the switch.